Hey, hello and welcome to this video. So I'm going to continue where we left off. Okay, so uh, I'm on uh, I'm on uh, Ubuntu again, and I've uh, okay. So I I want to continue my left off. I'm going to go to the Salome directory, okay. and then uh, let's go to launch Salome here. Okay, so last last video I actually talked about how uh, how uh, some Let's see. Yeah, how some um it, yeah, how to add faces. Yeah, I almost forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, so okay, let me start by <clears throat> let me start by um importing the link git work directory and then I'll get my workspace object as usual. Of course, uh, if you want to take a look, um uh, and what I have this video, I have this work examples object, you can go and take a look, it will you contain a fully working version of it. It should be inside my GitHub repository now. So you can take a look if you want. I'm not going to use that one. Uh, but yeah, so this video, uh, I want to talk more about meshing, okay? And uh, how to how to get meshing done, okay? Um, yeah, I want, to, I want to talk about how to get meshing done with the faces. So let me, let me just get the workspace object and what? Get workspace object not defined? Oh, right. Yes, okay. There you go. Loading workspace. Okay. So, let's see. Our workspace object. And, of course, after a while, uh, I mean, if you, if you keep working with your own code, this is a very convenient... I mean, uh, you, you will know how to use your code well. However, uh, uh, before... Before I want to uh, continue, I want to make life a little bit easier. So you see, uh, when we import the linkit work directory, okay, when we import linkit work directory, we will have specific examples of how to use the code uh, very quickly. So for example, from linkit work directory, get workspace object. So I just have to copy and paste the code here. So I'm going to dedicate the first part of the video to uh, tinker with this uh, uh, workspace object so that um, so that uh, we can, uh, or rather not not think yeah tinker with the workspace object so that we can uh, know know what uh, what uh, how to actually uh, get the code working. So what I mean is that you will type out this syntax directly so that you can just copy and paste. It make things a lot more convenient. So this is just a small tweak, but it may do uh, wonders in the long run uh, when we. Um, when we uh, do things. So, uh, just give you an example. Uh, when I import my uh, worked examples workspace object, and then I go self equals get worked examples object. So you see, uh, you'll print out this thing called initializing uh, workspace. To get the test object type this, test equals self to get test object, to get the cylinder, cylinder object type this. So that's uh, the kind of thing I want to do to make life easier. So, uh, I'm going to just quickly get through this part by copying and pasting the code. So I will, I will have this function called print object declaration. So okay, print object declaration. I'm going to copy this function and I'm going to paste it under the workspace class. So this this uh this thing is very simple. All it does is uh just tells you how to uh yeah, it tells you how to uh uh, declare your objects here. So uh, to get the test object type test equals self get test object to get the cylinder object type this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, add an extra space here, and I think my syntax here is slightly different. Uh, in this uh, live de demo cylinder class, I use get test object, not get tests object. So I have to change it a little bit here. Okay. Get test object. And what's the cylinder object look like? It's exactly the same. Okay. And I will need to actually do this. Okay. All right. So, okay. So let's um, move on. I'm going to save and quit. And let's see whether I can uh, do this again without uh, reloading everything. So, oh, yeah. I want to get the 
workspace object get workspace object not the get work example workspace object so looks like I may have to reload this okay import reload uh, from import library import reload okay and I'm going to reload my uh, link git work directory okay so I'm going to after I reloaded the git uh, link git work directory I'm going to get the workspace ah never mind forget it uh, I will want to exit and try again this is the I don't I don't keep typing code so not saving the study so one two three four so this is four layers up I'm going to run Salome and so run Salome in the background and let's import the link with work directory again and then let's get the workspace object and then oh oh right 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 I forgot one step I forgot to put it inside the constructor that explains it so intermediate plus Salome uh, Vim video scripts live demo cylinder class okay so let me I have to put it here print oh self dot print okay I'll call this print object declaration okay print object declaration declaration okay okay so see the Okay, to get test object type self te get test object and to get cylinder object type cylinder equals self dot se get cylinder object now again I also want to make life easier yeah in the test object okay uh, let's see test object or oh, test class test oh class test uh, it's final season now yeah okay but never mind I, I, I digress I, I'll, I'll not I'll not go through that okay so this is the the test object okay uh, the test object is over here um, and the test object will have apparently only this uh, test face name okay so uh, this is what I do I'm gonna do another print class def uh, print test description okay I'm gonna do the same thing again um, what I want to do is that I want a description of all the tests within this test object for example this test face name over here so that uh, you know I know how to run the test and I know what's going on just by copying and pasting it makes it really really easy so I'm gonna print a space at front print a space at the back and then I'm gonna print uh, test description test description print okay so I will just use since I have the test object to be just test over here I say test dot test uh, what is this test a cylinder object okay that's the first test test cylinder object okay let me print another space here test cylinder object then I'll do this then I'll put a disc this is the command and this is the description uh, tests oh, tests uh, meshing of a cylinder meshing of a cylinder without without what um, faces okay so that's the first one so I'm gonna print this again and I'm gonna use this template all around okay I'm going to delete this. Okay. Yank paste. Okay, so the test cylinder object is testing the cylinder without faces. This one is to test adding uh, adding faces to a cylinder without meshing. So that that's uh, what what's the name called? Test face name. Okay, test face name. And I'm gonna make a new one test face name so it, this one doesn't test meshing of a cylinder tests adding faces to a cylinder okay 
that's the second one and I want to make a third test over here okay def uh, test face meshing okay pretty uh, self-explanatory uh, let me put a pass just to have a uh, pass is just uh, a way another way of you know well yeah Python will need usually need to have some kind of uh, code that's running here but if you want to have a placeholder you just need to type pass if not uh, you have an error so okay so test face meshing what does it do uh, test face meshing uh, test uh, meshing of a cylinder with faces so that's what we are going to try and do next oh, cylinder with faces okay so that's that's the that's the next uh, thing we're gonna do okay so I'm gonna uh, stop here yeah okay and yeah so this this video is just here to um, make things come make life easier for ourselves and of course I will need to load this into the constructor okay self.print test description self.print test description so let's see whether it works so self test equals self that test object and then to just uh, test the cylinder object you can do this to test face naming you can do this and then it will it will run everything for you wrong module and there you go cylinder 2 is loaded with tests okay so that's uh that's the objective of this video uh, uh, just wanted to make things a little bit more convenient tidy things up yeah. make, make the code a lot more user-friendly okay so that's all I have thanks for watching